My name is Elena Sigmund. I sang uh, some of the zombie songs in Call of Duty in uh, Black Ops 2, Black Ops, and Call of Duty World of War. I worked at Treyarch as a producer. Um, Kevin Sherwood, who worked on the audio team, who I knew, we were friends, asked me if I wanted to try uh, singing. It was Lullaby for a Dead Man was the first song. I think we spent about a day on it. Uh, and then maybe did some touch-up harmonies later, uh, but that was the first song uh, that we did for fun, and then they wound up putting it in the game. After that, it was just we were, just did a song for every single map, um, and every new song brought new fans and new excitement, and um, it's been an incredible journey. I've been in bands, and I've been a songwriter, and I've done a lot of different types of musical things, and the relationship that Kevin and I have when we make these songs is really different from anything else that I've ever tried. He's like a crazy virtuoso musical genius and has this crazy you know, vision of how these songs should sound. And a lot of these things are not things that I would think I could do or try to do. The voice that I use in these songs is a little bit more uh, almost angelic or childlike and when it winds up sounding really kind of evil. And I think it was about, it was in the third song, it was in Beauty of Annihilation where he wanted me to do some screaming. We used distortion, so I sang into an amp that had like a, you know, different uh, distortion on it and uh, I was not confident that I could do it and with the distortion I think it wound, it wound up sounding good and then uh, for 115 he asked me to do what they call I guess clean screaming which is no distortion um, and I was like there's absolutely no way but he asked me to just you know stand back from the mic and just scream it in your lowest, most you know, scary voice. And I did, and I think that's actually the take that we wound up using in the song. The second I did it and we stopped, we all laughed for about 20 minutes, but he's really pushed me and my limits and sort of ex in a lot of different ways, uh, you know, challenging me to hit notes. I don't think I can sing. When I first heard the wine, when I heard myself hitting that high note, I would never have imagined I could do it. So we were asked uh, by Bill Anderson originally, who's a fan of the zombie songs. Um, he, I think, originally reached out to Kevin um, and wanted to know if they could do a choral performance of the songs, if they could get the, um, if they could get the rights. And they worked it out and they arranged all these songs and then asked if the original singers would come. And of course, we said yes. I've never actually sang them through like this because we did them in pieces. Um, you know, you sing a, a chorus and then you sing a harmony and you layer it and then eventually you have a song. So to, there were parts where I wasn't sure if I would be able to actually, you know, do the songs end to end because they're so challenging and so being, it's been great to be challenged um, and to perform them in front of people who love the songs. That's extremely exciting. I really, I just can't wait to do that.